Welcome Capricorns. I want to say um, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is um, the April reading for the full moon. Full moon is the pink full moon. I do love you guys. Uh, show your love and appreciation by subscribe. Thumbs up. The extended of this reading, you can find it under the medium subscription. Okay, so I am working this way um, because I'll be back on camera, but um, we have to deal with some sort of a situation that is happening with my health. I will be back on camera. All right, let's go into your reading and see what is coming out for your full moon. All right, this man shows up, okay? But there is a card in the in front of him. So let's put it down like this because he's going to go. A cycle is over for it. Aries, Leo, Sagittarian men. Um, they recognize what this man has done. Whether this Aries, Leo, Sagittarian person is, a cycle is going to be over for this person. They have now recognized who this person is and what this person have done. And this uh, is a situation where a lot of you um, Capricorns were dealing with this man, whether it's your boss, your father, or um, a family figure, or um, you know, a friend, or a co-worker, or uh, just a random person who has, uh, um, you know, access you in whatever way, or you cross paths, a, a cyclist over for this man, okay? Whoever this man is and whatever this man was doing, let's do the light and see. Um, a cycle is over and it's going to be happening in this first week of the full moon. Then we see you young ladies have to pay back some money. Um, so if you recognize you young ladies, a cycle is also over for you young ladies. Um, and this is for women um, 50 years and younger. A cycle is over and you have to pay back some money in the second week. They have recognized uh, some sort of a, an, and um they recognize uh, um, that um, a lot of you young ladies have to pay back some money to um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. But I see this is a situation where they're recognizing it could be your sister. They are now recognizing that uh, um, this older man, a cycle is over for an older man that some of you young ladies had connected with. You and a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion had connected with an older man. They recognize the play and the uh, network of you three and a cycle is now over. Some of you um, uh, young ladies have to, like if your sister is a, um, a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion, I see you have to financial help your sister out. I don't know how that is coming up. The energy of the magician is here. And you young ladies have to be aware of what is transpiring. The magician is in reverse. I see some sort of a balance is going to be coming in. This is the energy of balance. This is a major arcana. These two major arcana in the third week. It depends on who you are and what is transpiring. But I see they're going to be ending a situation. And I don't know if some of you, you're, you know, you and your father and your sister, there is some sort of a situation with you and your father and your sister, okay? There could have been some sort of a issues and problems. It is coming up about you, your father, and your sister. It is coming out. And some of you ladies have to assist your sisters financially because a cycle is over for your father, okay? Oh, righty, the Ace of Cup. There's no love that is offered to you young people. There is some issues that is going on because the energy of the major arcana, and this is about you having the tools to move forward, but I see a lot of you young people have to pay out a whole lot of money, okay? At the end of the 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 um third um uh, fourth week, we see the energy of the chariot. The energy of the chariot comes out, and this energy of the chariot is that a lot of you who were having some sort of an issue and problem with an Aries the or a Sagittarian man and a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person, a balance is going to be coming in and you're going to be overcoming this person and these two people. Now, who, is, who are these two people? Is it your father and your sister? Or is this um, your wife and uh, um, her father? 
Now, uh, you know, it depends on who you are and what is happening and transpiring. Um, but I see these two people, they were like thieves together. But what is happening and transpiring is that they recognize something about this Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person. They realize that this person, um, she is looking at this man and I see she's going to be throwing this man under the table because they are going to be recognizing that this older man used this little girl to do something or did he? Did he or didn't he? Okay. Ah. So I see a cycle is going to be over. The Knight of Wands. Alrighty. So whoever this Knight of Wands, there is three people that is here. And this Knight of Wands, a cycle is over for this Knight of Wands. And this Knight of Wands, if you notice, this is an Aries the year, a Sagittarius in person. This is also an older Aries the year, a Sagittarius in person. This is coming up as a father figure, but it's coming up as an older man that was uh, using these three younger people this older man is like 65 and older a cyclist over because this older man used these three people to do his dirty job and now it is all coming out because i see that this aries leader by a sign person is going to say let, let listen you know this man is the man that have gotten all of us involved so it could be a situation where this is a boss and a supervisor who use these younger people because this is an Aries the or a Sagittarian person. And I see this person is standing up and saying, listen, this man is the man that connected to me. OK, to this um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion and this Capricorn person or this uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. This is the man who is the center who got us all in the situation. And I see this Aries the or Sagittarius is really standing up and say, hey, if we are going to be losing, this man needs to be losing also because we are all in the problem. So it is what, Capricorn? Mm -mm -mm. I tell you, Capricorn, stay away from these fire sign people. Oh, yes. So I see um, a problem is coming up for a Leo. And a Leo is going to be throwing a lot of you under the bus, whoever this Leo is. So this Leo decide and is this terminate determinated really determinate to resolve a situation it could be you capricorn saying hey this situation is going to be resolved i'm not going any further with the situation this is a situation that this leo man or this aries man or this sagittarian man has gotten us into this problem and we all need to work together to make sure this man doesn't do it to other people and I think that um, in order for you guys to resolve a situation um, that you are in, it is to work together in order to resolve the situation. So whoever this person is, is a Leo person. And this Leo person is going to say, listen, I didn't know this man. This man is the man who have gotten all of us connected and gotten us into the situation. And I see it's as if some of you young um Capricorn is going to be standing up and using the energy of this Aries the Aries fire sign person and said, listen, uh, this man is the man that connects with me because, you know, here it is that you Capricorns are in some young, young women, young Capricorn women are in some sort of a problem and issue. And it is the cause of this man. This man is the man that has caused the situation. And some of you young people are going to be taking on the energy of the fire energy and said, listen, I didn't know this man. This man have contacted me out of the blues and asked me um, to do this or to do that. And now I am in this problem and they're going to be recognizing because I see if this man is a father or a business associate, whoever, a cycle a cycle this man has created and has brought three young people in a huge huge situation and a cycle is going to be over for everyone and i think you know you taurus Virgo, and taurus Vir, Tor, our capricorn person because it's going to affect you young ladies in the second week you gather um you know really really and i see that they're going to be recognizing some sort of a money that was passed through the end of you capricorn to a cancer they're now going to be seeing that so be aware of that 
major issues in the third week and some sort of a balance. But for you young people, young ladies, the rest of you young men are okay. But for you young ladies, you have to pay back a whole lot of money. Um, then we see is as if a lot of you love is not the name of the game in this full moon because this full moon is as if a lot of you are trying to get yourself out of some sort of a situation. All right, let's move forward. So now a bank financial institution um, is recognizing that a business is not for a Aries Lee or a Sagittarian man. And this man has been lying um, for a long time. This man is, uh, uh, they're now recognizing some sort of a government tax uh, corporation is recognizing who is this man and they're kind of recognizing who this man is. In the second week, surprise, 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 they're going to be also recognizing that money was passed through from a young Capricorn to a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out. They now recognize then um, the, the energy of the fox comes up and they're going to be recognizing um, that a Virgo and a Gemini uh, is the fox and they're going to be recognizing that um, some of you have played the game. All right. So be aware. I see at the end of the fourth week, someone is coming back to apologize. OK, someone is coming back to apologize for something that they have done. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is some sort of a serious, serious situation that is going to be coming in and transpiring. There's no question about this. And they are now recognizing because a lot of you older people are going to be successfully overcoming two young people that created a whole lot of things. Because they're going to be recognizing that a Capricorn, um, a young Capricorn woman, Money was passed through from a young Capricorn woman to a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion. They are now a bank financial institution is recognizing this. And they're also recognizing a whole lot of information and data is going to be coming out. And a lot of you, especially all the people, is going to be recognizing that you have an enemy. And whoever this enemy is, is a young, it can be for some of you, it's a young Virgo. Some of you, it is a young Gemini and they found out what a young uh, Gemini and a young Virgo has done. They have been your greatest enemy. A young Gemini and a young Virgo, they have been your greatest enemy. And I see that a situation is going to be happening where people are going to be wanting to come back and apologize to you Capricorns for whatever the reason is. But, um, you know, Moon sign people don't come to the moon sign people. They don't want no apology. Um, These moon sign people is like, you have made your bed, create your bed, stay out there, don't want to get involved with whatever is happening. So they're going to be recognizing what a Gemini and a Virgo have done. They recognize, and a lot of you are going to be recognizing that a Gemini and a Virgo has been your biggest enemy. Okay, and I see a Leo person have a whole lot of problems to deal with, whether this Leo person is, uh, they recognize that a Leo person had connected to an Aries Leo or Sagittarian and was doing business, and I see truths is going to be coming out. So whether this Aries Leo person is, they're going to be finding out. Let's look at you, Sun Sign Capricorns, Sun Sign Capricorns. All right, so they are going to be recognizing um, how a, a young Aries Lee or Sagittarian has took money in the past and has created some sort of a business and has took money in the past, okay? Now, whatever this is and whatever this is showing up, they're seeing the truth of the lies and deceptiveness um, where this um, young Aries Lee and they're trying to balance it out. They're definitely trying to balance this. So if you notice this full moon is coming up with balance because they're shutting down and ending some sort of a collaboration and business that an Aries Lee or Sagittarian man, older man, 65 years and older, and then young um, Sagittarian was uh, doing some sort of a business, but it was 
they were falsifying and doing business under someone else's business and copy someone else's data and information that was making a lot of money and that is how they acquire money and now a corporation institution is going to be coming in and recognize the fraud of these people i see that you young taurus very very capricorn person um this is the energy of the cliver of wands are going to be um kind of offering um some sort of a help by returning some money okay trying to offer some sort of a help by returning um some money and they're going to be now recognizing um what a aries Leo or sagittarian person have done that an aries Leo or sagittarian person was uh, um the big fish this woman has been using a gemini and a virgo woman and has been controlling a gemini and a virgo woman to do her little dirty deeds okay Oh, yes, to do her little dirty deeds. And truth is now going to be coming out that this Aries Lear Sagittarian woman was the biggest. This woman is a real cruel woman. And they're going to be recognizing um, what this woman has done. This woman is a real um, cruel, deceptive woman. Okay. They are now going to be finding out what this woman has done. A really cruel, deceptive woman. Okay. Um, it is a situation where, um, you know, people are going to be now recognizing what this real cruel woman have done because they're recognizing how disturbing, um, this woman is and what this woman has, um, created, um, for a lot of people and how this woman use and manipulate people in order for them to do things for her. So, you know, you're, you know, a lot of you Capricorns is going to be recognizing because the truth is going to be coming out. And whether this, because I see they recognize, because it's as if a bank financial institution is recognizing um, that this older man used this Aries the or Sagittarian person in order to acquire and access some sort of a bank financial institution and try to get some money in the past. And they recognize that this man used some of you, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn people. They, this man used this young person to acquire money, um, from a bank financial institution in another country, in another land. They use this person to pick up money and access some sort of a bank financial institution in another land. And now um, it, it is now coming to light and people are recognizing the real deviousness of what has transpired. And I see a cycle is going to be over for an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian person in, an, um, in another country um, or from another country because they recognize that this person has stolen a lot of money on the false pretend and has taken in the past a whole lot of money that was supposed to go to you Capricorns. And they're going to be recognizing that some of you Capricorn men did use this young Aries the or Sagittarian person to um, ac access some sort of a bank in order to get some sort of a bank. It's like offshore banking, but it's not really offshore banking. It's as if you use this young person, you, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, man, or whoever, use this young person. This young person could have worked in a bank or get this young person in some sort of an international corporation and was running, um, money, um, to another country by using this young person. And they're going to be finding out everything that you businessmen have done together with this businessman that you Capricorn businessman use this young Aries Lee or a Sagittarian person to run money through a bank financial institution and try to get a whole lot of money to them and use them to get a whole lot of money. And the truth is coming out because I see balance is coming in. 
And they're recognizing that this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person had also got a lot of money um, on the false pretend. And this person is trying to give back the money in order to get out of the situation. Then they're going to be recognizing that an Aries Leo or Sagittarian woman was the person that coaxed a Gemini person to get some sort of a details and information. Whoever this woman is, is an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person, is an older person. And this person is a very manipulating person because she gets younger people to do things for her and um, access people information and data and they're going to be recognizing who is this Aries Leo or Sagittarian person and what this person have done and I see no love it's as if you Capricorns is especially young Capricorn women is going to be speaking up against this woman and letting people know that this lady have her way to manipulate younger people to do what it is that they want. And I see a lot of you young Capricorn women are very upset at how this woman use you, abuse you, and is trying to get out of a situation and throw you under the bus in the process. And I see a lot of you young women are very upset at this older Aries Lee or fire sign person because you recognize this woman came to you and told you things that uh, wasn't true and you were not aware of this and now this woman is has become your greatest enemy because this woman is trying to um you know um, um you know um uh, creating uh, and disturbing characteristic of who you are and you young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is going to be very upset at this woman to see what this woman have done and why this woman have created this thing so this woman could have used you to acquire data and information or use you in some form of a way and I see that you want to return some sort of a money that this woman had given you in order for you to get out of some sort of a situation because you young ladies are caught up in some sort of a huge problems that a Aries the or a Sagittarian person have gotten you in and now become your greatest enemy. Move on by using a Gemini to work against you and you are now recognizing this and seeing the truth. So I see a lot of you young women have no love um and you are so sorry that you had gotten yourself involved in some sort of a situation. You are very, very sorry. You are recognizing, I have choose the wrong side of the pond. I choose the wrong people. I've worked against the wrong people. Now I'm seeing the truth. So I see balance is going to be coming up for you, fire sign people, because a cycle is going to be over um between a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, uh, because um an Aries man and a young uh Aries the or such dear in person they're going to be recognizing that uh these two people and a Taurus and a Capricorn man and a Virgo man they had some sort of a business arrangement and they wanted to get some sort of a money but it's not going to be happening because they're going to be finding out what is transpiring. All right we're moving to the moon sign people so people that was born 6 p.m to 6 a.m I see um, that you're ending a situation, okay? I see a young person is coming back to apologize to some of you and you are like, please, don't. Um, it is better for you to recognize that um, what you have done, forgiveness is the key, but I don't want to have any connection with you. So whoever this young person is so wants to come back and apologize to you. And I see um, that you moon sign people. If it's a child, your arms are open to this child. It's not a child. You are like, stay away from me. I forgive you and that's it. But stay away from me. If it's a family member, I see you Capricorns or will forgive this family member, but you're not going to forget. And you are going to be opening up your arms if it's only your child. If it's your child that you brought into this world, you are going to be forgiven and open your arms to this person because it's all about unconditional love. But if it's a family member, you will forgive the family member, but you're saying to them, stay the F away from me, okay? If it is a friend or um some sort of a far relative you're going to be saying back up you can apologize you know that's it 
I do not want to deal with you. Stay away from me. So I see that it's as if some of you Capricorn is so deeply grooved by what has transpired. Your wishes and dreams is going to be coming out for you moon sign people. Moon sign people that has been going through a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems. Your wishes and dreams in the first week is going to be coming out because I see a whole lot of information is coming out. So people who are born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., a whole lot of information and a whole lot of situation that you are dealing with is going to be falling away because you're going to be overcoming this and your wishes and your dreams is going to be coming out. I see you women, you older um, Capricorn women are balancing out of a situation and you are recognizing um, that um, an Aries or fire sign person together with a Gemini and a Virgo has created a whole lot of issues in your world. And you, um, you um, Capricorn women, older women, or recognizing who your enemy is, and it's a Virgo woman, and a Gemini, and a, a, a Sagittarian, and you're standing your grounds, and you're balancing this out, and you're saying to the air, the air is there, Sagittarian, just let it go, let it go, because you, um, you people do not recognize how far you people have gone. And you are saying, because, you know, you Capricorn women are standing your grounds and you're saying, let it go now. Let it go because you people are mentally instable to see how far you have gone and what you have created and the problems you have created that I could have lose my life. OK, and it is a situation that is so serious that Capricorn women 50 years and older could have lose their life because of uh, the situation that an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person have created. And, you know, the, you know, Taurus, Capricorn women, older women are like, you know, you people, I don't care if you want to be my enemy. All I'm saying, let it go. No more. No more. Because you could have let me lost my life in this process. And this is wrong what you people have done. And if you think that this is a game, this is not a game. And this is why I'm showing you people, this is not a game. It is someone's life. And you need to respect other people's boundaries because you people have gone too far. And I see you Capricorn women are going to be really standing your ground and said, you know, I don't care if you want to become my enemy. That's your problem. But this is where I draw my line. There is no way that you people are going to be doing this to anyone else because it is wrong what you have done. And I see um, you Capricorn uh, women are standing your grounds and said, hey, it is now over. Game's over because I'm not going through this because this situation could have taken my life and if it was someone else. So you Capricorn women, I see um, a lot of you are going to be overcoming and having a new start and some sort of a success overcoming a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person, whoever this person is, is basically crazy. Okay. Um, this person is basically, basically crazy. They now recognize what this person have done. They recognize the foul pay of this person. They have now seen the truth of this person, um, what this person have done. And I see that whatever that was stolen from you, um, Capricorn, um, you know, it's going to be returning and some sort of a new start. You Capricorn are going to be getting some sort of a new start, but, um, this man have to return all the money that he and a um he and a young Aries or fire sign person have stolen. They're going to be making sure because they're going to be shutting down his company and his business and making sure that the money returned to you, um, Capricorns. Because whoever this man is, a bank financial institution is going to be um offering um you Capricorns. A new start by returning the money to you Capricorns because they recognize the lies and deceptiveness of this uh, Aries Leo Sagittarian man and this young Pisces, this, this young person and the deceptiveness of this uh, um, young um, Aries Leo Sagittarian person and you Capricorns. So let's see what is going to be coming out. Your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. So you're going to be receiving some sort of an offer. 
a new start is going to be coming in for you Capricorns and they're going to be recognizing that this man and this young Aries the or Sagittarius in person have created a huge huge tap so here we are Capricorn um some sort of an offer is going to be coming in your wishes and dreams is going to be coming in a new start is going to be coming up for you Capricorns and they're going to be recognized in the huge tap that this young uh, Aries the or fire sign person and this man have done this the huge tap what these people have done and how these people have created a whole lot of problems stealing a lot of money okay really stealing a lot of money the jealousy and envy jealousy and envy of this young fire sign person and this older man and what they have created in your world and i see a lot of you are going to be very very successfully overcoming this situation what these people have done because if you notice it's in the past and it is a corporation institution that is recognizing the lies and deceptiveness and i can't you know the the, the truth is that i wonder i wonder a, a lot when i see these uh, criminal uh, criminal offense and uh breach of data and people identity these people who work in these corporation there is so much test that you know you have to have people identity and that sort of a thing how in god's name um this man could have used someone else's identity and people were not seeing this this man um you know and and, and this man is a criminal this man is a real criminal and it is it is a situation that is, this man has been doing it for a very very long time ladies and gentlemen whoever this man is has been um, doing this situation for a very very long time and use people lie because he lies and he has and whoever this young person is this young person this young Aries Leo or Sagittarian person is someone who wants uh, um uh you know luck uh in it's as if they want fast luck without working and getting anything and you capricorns it's like hell no you all are not going to be riding off my information my data my information and steal so much money and get away with it and this is what i'm saying ladies and gentlemen how in god's art that a bank or a financial institution have not recognized that this man was lying because people can always check the data of people businesses and they must have recognized because once you don't have a contract with anyone this man was not supposed to have someone else's business data and information and walk away from this these Two people are supposed to get some sort of a prison time for what they have done. They have cost a lot of you Capricorns a whole lot. Um, especially Capricorns that this man stole this older lady money using this young lady. And, and, and you businessmen use this young lady to ch transfer your money in and out of the country. And you businessmen use this um another capricorn information and give to this young lady in order to acquire wealth and stability what this young this older capricorn family has left them this is totally ridiculous ladies and gentlemen it is totally totally ridiculous there is absolutely no way that a bank is a, or a corporation is not going to be calling to check to see where is the address of someone company and recognize and pull the bell at the same time and recognize that you are not the person because everybody identity is used to open a bank or to open a new business. So how on God's heart, this bank, this corporation never recognized that this young lady was not the same person. Okay. You need to have Telephone numbers are connected to data and information, so they must have recognized that that is not the person, okay? And a photograph is now taken. All banks, all financial banks and institutions, and this is why I say to a lot of you Capricorns, the government are trying to protect you. Only when you're illegal or in illegal doings that you don't want 
to, to, to go by the rules and regulation. And this is a situation where you're looking at this bank and this financial institution. This lying criminal man, some of you is an Aries man, some of you is an, is an, uh, a Leo man, have been working and have been co-creating with a bank or financial institution. And, you know, this is a situation. If you're a good business person, you can pick up, um, someone who is not above water. I always listen to people. Anytime someone comes, um, or I have someone on the phone and they're going on blah, 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 and I'm thinking, yeah, not just buying your story. And I'm listening to them and I can feel it and I can see it and I can recognize it. And I'm thinking, whoever is working in a bank or financial institution, you should have your instinct. Okay. And some people use their instinct by looking at the color of the person and that sort of a thing. And that is it where, um, uh, you know, there is a situation where whatever is happening and transpiring, people, uh, who look at people color or, you know, how they dress. It's not always what it seems to be. Okay. And, uh, Give you an example. So, this pharma, uh, okay, so you work in a, uh, a, a, a auto dealer. It's a Saturday. People are coming in. You, uh, you know, you had something that you were offering something new and you work in an auto dealer and you're standing there. People are coming in. And a lot of you will go to the man in the suit. Okay, a lot of you. I uh, see two couple come in. One is nicely dressed and one looks like uh, an everyday person. A lot of you are going to be choosing the man in the suit. Wrong. I choose the everyday person. And why I choose the everyday person? Because that is the person that saved their money and is not going to be running a credit they're going to be paid for their thing because they saved their money. The person in the suit have to run his credit because all of his shit is, is whoopsie daisy. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, again, um, uh, people who works with the public have to have a, uh, have to work through their intuition. And this is a situation where however these people have stolen so much money, there has to be someone in this bank, financial institution, or government institution that was pushing data and documentation through. It cannot happen if there is not someone behind the scenes, behind the office, who is running this for criminals, okay? Because these two people, however they did it, someone in a government institution or someone in a bank or financial institution has to be at the back that is opening these accounts and is accessing these data. And now, it, it, you know, it is when people are going to be recognizing, oh, it's the wrong person. But you cost the right person their lives and their stress by investigating the situation. And I think that uh, this is a time, and I think a lot of things are going to be changing up. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to have this and I don't want to take the injection or whatever. And I am one of these persons who says in order to stop um, identity theft, major things have to happen. Like we getting our data injected in us because that's the only way we can stop identity. Because a whole lot of you are not aware because when you live in a bubble, you know, I had to prick my old and open up my bottle and recognize what was happening in the world and how much people were being um, thrown under the bus. Their identity was stolen and they lost a lot of money and think that the world was made for everyone to have materialistic wealth and stability. And because you did not born in a family, it's not that you can't make it out of it. There's a lot of people that was born in the ghetto, a lot of people who were born 
um, not having it, but they work themselves out of it. So why should you think that you're going to be using your body, your face in order to get a step using someone identity and not even someone that is dead? Ladies and gentlemen, wake up, wake up, you know, and um, think about it, ladies and gentlemen, if someone use your identity, whoever process that bank account that was open, whoever process accessing, they should have asked for the original, um, um, the original, um, passport number, the original, they need to, you know, and this is it, ladies and gentlemen, this has cost the world a whole lot of time. And I cannot understand if you are not the owner of someone else, uh, not the, the, the owner and the data, why are you, um, you have ripped off so much people. I mean, you know, why, why, you know, think about this, ladies and gentlemen, it is a full moon that is going to be showing up a whole lot of things and a whole lot of you are going to be recognizing um, that this whole process of what is going on is a wake up call. See this as a wake up call and see this as changes as to come up on this planet because I see a lot of people and, you know, when someone asks you to do a favor in a corporation institution, say, no, it has to go through the correct process. And maybe that will help change the world a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Namaste.